Hi everyone, Fatma here from Addictive Tips and today I'm going to show you three ways to extract a frame from a video on Windows 10. The simplest way is to just take a screenshot of the video portion that you would like to extract. Just open the video and pause it at the right moment. And you can use the Windows plus print screen keyboard shortcut to take a screenshot. The screenshot is going to be saved to your pictures library under the screenshot folder. You can also tap the print screen key and then paste it into a paint file or any other image editor of your choice and that'll do the trick too. Now the next option is the movies and the TV app. So what you want to do is open the movies and TV app and open the video that you want to extract the frames from. Navigate to the part that you want to extract the frame from and then at the bottom you want to click this edit button. In the menu that opens, click the Save Photo from Video option. This is going to open the Photos app. Here you can use these arrows at the bottom to go forward or backward frame by frame. When you're ready to save a photo, or in this case a frame, click the Save a Photo button. The third method is of course to use VLC Player. And before you can use VLC Player, what you should do is you should trim your video down to the exact part that you want to extract the frames from. So go ahead and trim your video down to the section that you need to extract frames from. Once you've trimmed the video down, you should also create a folder that you want to extract the frames to. After creating the folder, copy the path to this folder to your clipboard. Now open VLC Player with Admin Rights. Go to Tools, Preferences. And at the bottom of this window, you're going to see this All button. You want to select it, and this is going to expand the settings that are available. Here, you want to scroll down to the video section in this column on the left and select Filters. Remember that you have to select filters. Don't expand them by clicking on this arrow button. When you select filters, you get these other options here. And from these options, you have to select Scene Video Filter, and then make sure that you click Save. Now you can expand the filters option by clicking this arrow button. Here you want to scroll down and select the scene filter. Now you've got the path to the folder that you created for your frames copied to your clipboard, paste it under directory path prefix. Uh, you want to leave the image format set to PNG. Change the image width and image height so that it matches the image width and height of the video that you're um, extracting frames from. Now the last thing that you have to change is the recording ratio and this is going to be something that you'll have to experiment with to get it right. You can set it to 10, 20 or 30 and the default is 50 but you'll probably need to go lower. So I'm setting it at 10 and I know that that works for me. Click save and then close VLC player. Now again open VLC player with admin rights. Go to media. Open file. Select the video that you want to extract frames from and then let it play all the way through. Do not interrupt the video, don't pause it, don't uh, forward to any section of the video. You can minimize VLC player but that's about it. When the video completes, open the folder that you wanted to extract frames to and the files should be there. If there's nothing in this folder, it's time to start experimenting with the recording ratio. Go higher and lower and see what works for you. I'll see you later with more tips and tricks for Windows 10.